The modern firefighter gets called for everything. Our job is all about interaction with the public and interaction on their worst day. I've been a professional firefighter for 29 years. Feel pain at all? Okay. Seeing that level of human tragedy of a car accident or a shooting or a murder, it takes a toll. You have to put up a front because you might go right back out again. The stuff that's going on with you right now are, are typical of a car wreck. And the idea is that you want to be able to do your job. That's the mantra. I'm good to go. I'm ready. That's right? so what you say in the Marine Corps when you're ready to go out and do another job. Good to go. I am in a hundred different kinds of distress. Stuff is coming back to me from Desert Storm. Some stuff from childhood are starting to surface. And I'm doing everything I can to keep it tamped down. If you're a police officer or a firefighter or a first responder of any kind, you will see things that you can't unsee. We ignore it. But they're ticking time bombs. And if we don't learn ways to deal with that stress, to work with that stress, eventually it's all going to catch up to you. And I, I've been that guy. I've been that guy up until the point that it almost killed me. I was born and raised in Honolulu, Hawaii. I was a healthy baby of Hawaii in 1965. Yeah, I was all that back then. And after high school, I joined the Marine Corps. When I transitioned from active duty, I went right into the fire department and at the same time went into the Marine Corps Reserve. I have four combat tours, Operation Desert Shield, Desert Storm, Bosnia, and then Iraq and Afghanistan. As I went along on my journey, my daughter went in the Army and my son went in the Marine Corps. I was at work on June 14, 2008, and as I'm putting on my gear, I heard my friend say, you're out of service. And just then I saw two Marines pull up, and he said, we, we regret to inform you that your son has been killed in action in Afghanistan. And from there, the things kind of just went to a blur. I was running away from dealing with my problems. And I was drinking a lot. And my marriage was ending, suicidal. I was reaching my breaking point. And you look for those things that are going to keep you going for another day. Sometimes they don't make sense. Sometimes it's my coworkers. What are they going to think? What happens if I am the one who suicided? It got me to this point where I finally started getting help without these outside influences saying, Mike, you need some help. Mike, you need to take care of Mike, that I probably wouldn't be here right now. I don't want another firefighter to be in this situation where I was. The way to do that was to just lay myself out and just say, here it is. We're gonna talk a little bit about the Seattle Fire Department's critical incident stress management team and what we do. The goal of this team is to keep firefighters and our paramedics in the fight to help them relieve the stress by talking through some of the stressful incidences that they've been on as a means to keep them on the job and, and healthy. When they hear Mike's story in the beginnings of their careers, it starts to tell them from day one that it's okay. We know you're gonna be stressed out, but if you are and you are having some challenges, we have some tools for you that's gonna help you through this. That's so important for us as a profession. In March of 2014, a massive mudslide affected the communities of Oso and Darrington. When I pulled up, houses, as far as I could see, were not there. They had disappeared. 43 people were, were killed during the slide. Some of our firefighters lost family members during the event, so it was very traumatic. Because of the mudslide, I had some emotional issues, lost confidence in my ability to lead had marital difficulties. Talking to Mike made me go down a better road than I might have otherwise chosen. This is a guy that understands exactly where I'm at because he's already been there. He's gone through this, so I trust him. Hey, look at my tattoo. <laughs> Semper Fi, Mac. My son was with 2-7 in Iraq and Afghanistan. Doing this confidentially, I think it would lack the impact. I'm a better person, I'm a better counselor, I'm a better firefighter because 
I'm able to say those things out loud. I'd like to get you up to the hospital and get you hydrated in a nice bed, a nice safe spot. That is the most important thing is to get that word out to every firefighter and every fire engine and let them know this doesn't have to be you, that it's okay to talk about it. That's the first line of defense. All right, Semper Fi. Yes, sir. Be well. All right.